<coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> Damn. I am smoking way too much lately. All right, doing a quick demolding video for you guys. These are the last two pieces from, from last night. At least the uh, last two that were completed last night. So I got the D20 dice holder. So my buddy John plays Magic the Gathering, which, I mean, I'm, I'm a nerd, but I don't know enough about things like D&D &D or Magic the Gathering to actually just make assumptions. So, you know, he's talking about his nerdy stuff, and I'm talking about my nerdy stuff, and he just casually mentions, you know, how much... You know, oh yeah, it's always great to have extra dice or more dice or, you know, you need cool dice for status symbol, you know, just talking about dice. And I'm like, fuck, man, I can make you some cool dice, some personalized dice and a personalized dice holder. And he's like, well, cool. So we both love Star Wars, make me a Star Wars themed one. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude, say less. So... <clears throat> Wasn't that a riveting story? So I'm making him one, you know, the dice holder that's themed after Vader's throne. Or his hyperbaric chamber. With a little Darth Vader in it. This thing isn't usually so hard to remove. What's going on here? Okay, there we go, finally. All right, there we have Vader and the Jet Black Imperial mixed with the clear and the white and more of that Imperial Black so that when it fits together, I think that's pretty friggin' cool. Okay. <sighs> I think he'll be happy with that. And then, for my other friend, now that that has been demolded, uh... Okay, the cap is in there. I gotta make sure I keep all the pieces together. Out of room. Okay, for my other friend, I made a new one of these guys. This one, this is going to be a piece of wall art, so I don't need to worry about creating the leg and the three dimensional properties so that it can act as a bookend. All I gotta do is get it out without ripping apart my mold. <clears throat> Alright, so, there we have it. Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. TIE Advanced. So, got the two layers going on. The first layer was the, uh, the black spatial with the, um which I added the uh, asteroids to the aquarium gravel, some of which will allegedly glow under UV light, and then just a couple little basic additives of some stones, a planetary ring, and a, a viewing orb, which kind of looks pretty spacey. And then, you know, it'll just sit on the wall like that. And 
if I have enough lettering or I can fit it, you know, the force will be with you. Something like that. What do you think?